Panda and Polar Bear, written by Matthew J. Beek, illustrated by the Penguin Group. In a place where spring met winter, there lived two kinds of bears. Where it was green and grassy lived the panda bears, and where it was white and wintry lived the polar bears. But in between loomed a tall, steep, and slippery cliff. It was too tall for panda bear to climb up, and it was too tall for polar bear to climb down, and so the two never met. Until one curious polar bear became too curious. What was beyond his white, wintry world? He walked closer to the edge of the cliff, and closer and closer still, perhaps a little too close. Luckily, the polar bear landed in a patch of soft, squishy mud, icky and brown and ick. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Something was coming. The polar bear ran. But the cliff was too tall, too steep, and too slippery to climb up. Stomp, stomp, stomp. The polar bear covered his eyes. He peeked from behind his muddy paws and saw a strange, splotchy bear staring at him. Are you new? asked the strange, splotchy bear. Do you want to play? Um, said the polar bear. The splotchy bear took this as a yes. In no time, they were climbing trees, playing hide and seek, and follow the leader. Finally, they sat down for a snack. Ick, thought the polar bear. This bamboo is too hard. He had a better idea. Let's fish, he said to his new, new splotchy friend. The polar bear looked into the water and gasped. Could it be? He wasn't playing white anymore. He had turned into a splotchy bear. Splash! He swam out, snatched a fish, and proudly presented his catch. You're fading, the splotchy bear said. Where are your panda bear patches? Panda bear patches, the polar bear replied. Aren't you a panda bear, asked the splotchy bear. No, he said quietly. I'm a polar bear. I'm all white, just like snow. He sighed. Hmm. What terrifically splotchy panda bear would want to be friends with a plain white polar bear? But the panda's face brightened. I've never seen snow, never seen snow he said. What's it like? So the polar bear explained all about snow. But the more he talked, the more he remembered, and the more he remembered, the more he missed. Suddenly, the polar bear was homesick. I'll help you get home, said the panda bear. But the cliff, the polar bear replied. I'll think of something, said the panda. So he thought and thought and thought until he couldn't think any more. Maybe we could use bamboo, suggested the bear. My mother told me never to play with food, but I think it's okay this time, said the panda bear. Together they made a very long ladder, and a very, very long ladder. When it was finished, the time had come for polar bear to go. He looked at the panda bear, would they still be friends after he left? The polar bear wanted to ask, but he wasn't sure how. Instead, he turned and slowly climbed the ladder. And he climbed and climbed. The higher he went, the harder the, harder the wind blew. The ladder began to shake. And then suddenly, it was still. The polar bear looked down. There was the panda bear holding onto the ladder with all his might. Don't worry, the panda called. I've got you. In fact, they had each other and a lot more to discover. The end.